What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new, I am Chad Smith and welcome. Today, we are going to be adding some new corals to a 175 gallon corner tank. Absolutely love the tank. It's doing great. Other than my French angel I caught for it, had ick, killed two of my fish that my amazing girlfriend bought for me. Um, but with that being said, let's head to Andy's and get us some corals. So our first piece of coral we're going to get is this really cool hammer coral. And uh, let's see how this turns out here. First corals in the bag. Um, Griff, what are we going next? You pick out my next one. Oh, really? <laughs> Which one? The hairy the mushroom. Hairy mushroom? I'm telling you. All day. This thing is sick. Yeah. This one back here? Yeah. So good. Or that one, honestly. That's what I was thinking. A rock star fish. Because he's a rock star. So I do have a chocolate chip starfish, and people say that they do eat corals. I have a couple corals in the big tank, and they have not ate any yet. Griffin, you were a fish. Last time. I screw up, I screw up. <laughs> so I have a chocolate chip starfish in the big tank, and people tell me that they eat corals. Um, I am getting some more corals for the tank. But today I'm going to be grabbing this red linkia starfish. And Andy said he does not eat corals. Oh, he's cool. He's very cool. So we're also going to get this blood red fire shrimp. He's a, uh, you can see Andy's got a little guy there and the big one. I'm going to go with the big one so the panther grouper doesn't eat him. Come on, buddy. There we go. Just like that. There he is. All right, so I feel bad. And he's got a couple gonorrhea's, I mean gonopora's over there. <laughs> gonopora pieces of coral, like that one there. And uh, he's actually got really cool tor torch coral in here. But uh, I'm going to take this one. But I may have to get my mask on to get in here to get this thing. Gonopora is now all closed up. <laughs> so there's a blue plate coral laying underneath that hammer, which is a circular one right there. We're gonna go for an attempt to try to get him out of there. We're going for a swim. Oh, there's no way. I'm gonna fall over this thing. Come on, stand up! We filmed his face and him standing on that thing.
Wow. That was a lot harder than it looked. So, Andy's gonna let us know our damage on all this. I do need a new filter too. I mean, you guys probably aren't very amazed about that one. I'm gonna throw that in the bag. But we've got our starfish, our shrimp, and our three pieces of coral. We'll be heading home soon in a second. So we are back home now. We've got our awesome animals and our corals. Time to put them in the big tank. So first step to putting them in the tank is we gotta let them acclimate. So we're just gonna put them in, float around for probably 20, 30 minutes, and then we'll add them into their new home. So everything has been acclimating for about 30 minutes now. Um, now it's just time to add them in. First we're gonna start with our hammer coral here. Just gonna open it up. I should have a bucket in here to put these bags in, but I don't. So right now I'm just gonna put them in, set them all down, get them out of the bags, get the bags, put in the trash, and then I'll come back and find a spot for them all. So, I decided to go grab a bucket to make this a lot easier. But, I'm just going to set these in here for right now. And like I said, just get everything out of the bags, and then we'll go around and set it where we want it. The main goal is to make sure the rubber bands don't go in the tank either. Yes, everything is closed right now, and after a day or two, it will all open up, and we'll show you a really good look at it, but just trying to get these in the tank. the blood shrimp. I just got to make sure the grouper is not anywhere near him so he does not try to eat him right now. So from what I see, he's down here hiding under that rock. So hopefully he stays over there while I release him in. I've got to say this blood shrimp is absolutely crazy. All white feet, red body. It goes right to work, starts cleaning the bottom. And last but not least, the red starfish. Alright, we got everything in the tank. Now it's just time to set our corals where we want them to stay and hopefully grow to overtake that rock. Um, so let's see. So with our plate coral and our gonopora, we need a flat surface because it's on a plate. So 
we got to try to play with that. Um, and then our hammer, I think we're going to move to this ledge here. So uh, let's start doing that. So we're gonna, we got everything set. We're gonna give them a day or two, see how they do. Open up, and we'll give another, show you guys another look at them when they're all open. So it's been about two days now since we've got our corals, and uh, our hammer coral is looking amazing. And our polyps back there are uh, not fully open, but it all depends on what the light looks like and they'll be opened up. But uh, you can kind of see a good look at them. They're very, very pretty when they're all open. They look like stringy arms. And look, the fish are like, whoa! Little panther grouper, our lemon peel, blue tang, new starfish. But yeah, they look really good. Um, but with that being said, if you guys did go on to enjoy that video, make sure you hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. And don't forget, I am doing that giveaway of AirPods. My link will be down in the description. Go follow my Instagram and look at my last post. Um, just follow the directions. If you guys want to win a pair of AirPods, 2,500 subscribers, I'm almost there. I'm at like, I just hit 2,000, so 500 more subscribers, and uh, we'll be doing the giveaway. With that being said, we'll see you in the next one.